Hi, this is Corey from Fitness Lying Down. I want to talk to you today about an exercise that's going to help improve your hip mobility. Sometimes we have tight hips, tight hamstrings, tight everything because, well, we've been sitting too long. Long car trips, long days at the office, or just general inactivity. So with this exercise, the side sit, we're going to get into what's called the figure four position. I want to make sure that the front leg comes out here, back leg behind. This back leg is never on top of the front foot. It's always just right behind it. From this position now, I want to be nice and tall. You might find it to be a little bit uncomfortable. You might find something going on in this hip and in this oblique area, maybe even a little bit in the low back, and this is okay. What's going to actually help out is if you sit in this position longer. Now, I'm not saying you're going to sit in here for a very long time. But just be able to sit here for a little bit, let that body get reacclimated to sitting in such a natural position. So, from this position now, you might also feel like you have to put an hand down because you can't stay upright here. This is okay. We just want to get better at sitting in this position and a little bit of movement in this position. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do is transition to the other side. How we're going to do this is we're going to round out our spine, we're going to roll on those hips, and we're going to transition nice and gracefully to the other side in another figure four position. Being up tall again in the spine and every time that we sit, rounding out that spine, as we move in transition. I like to see those knees get up and move simultaneously as the feet move with them. Now from this position, to help out with a little bit of shoulder mobility, maybe a little upper back, a little stretch action if you will, is we're gonna look behind us as far as you can. Don't crank, don't go as fast as you can, just a nice general look behind. And then we're gonna transition to the other side once again. Now when I transition, I don't wanna be kicking my feet out. I want everything to stay in relatively tight. Now from here again, nice and tall, take that look behind you. What we're going to also give you today is, from the side step position, we're going to give you its cousin, the tall split kneeling. So I'm going to transition to that other side. From here, I'm going to raise myself up into more of a tall, sit, tall seated position. It's tall split kneeling because this foot here is splitting both of those, those knees, and I want to make sure those hips are underneath my shoulders. I don't want them hanging out here. So this is the first checklist. Is everything nice and tall? Are my ribs down? Can I sit up and relax? You're gonna feel a lot of things going on in those hips at various angles. We're gonna go ahead and have a seat again. Transition to the other side. Check it out up here. Ribs down, hips up underneath those shoulders. Now again, for a little extra stretch, take that look behind you. I don't wanna go as fast as I can. I wanna maintain position here through the abdomen, through the core, through the hips as I take that look. I'm going to transition again, nice and tall, taking that look behind me. So there you go. I mean, both these exercises, this alternate side sitting and the tall split kneeling can be done anywhere, anytime. You can do them while you're watching TV. You can, you can do them during a break sometime at the office or after that long car trip, whether it's at a wayside or anything, if the ground's available, just getting down and moving like that. And you'll be amazed with how better your hips feel, how more engaged your core is, and just how generally you just feel like you have a little bit of a workout in just that brief amount of time. So, the side sit, toss split nearly, have fun, try those out. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I look forward to seeing you soon. This is Corey from Fitness Line Down. Have a great day.